Hello, viewers. You can watch all episodes of this video right now on Patreon. If you can pledge a small monthly donation as low as $2 on Patreon, you can watch exclusive videos, bonus content, get free merchandise, and much, much more. Just go to patreon.com slash Christian Kids. We turn the best lessons from our faith into interesting animated videos and share them online. With your support, we'll be able to make more videos and invest more in the quality of each video. So what do you say? Every little bit helps, and your kindness will be rewarded with some pretty awesome perks. If you are not in a position to support us financially, then please do pray for us. Prayer support is very important for our mission. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Saint Genevieve is a saint in Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox tradition. She is the patron saint of Paris. Popular tradition represents her parents as poor peasants, though it seems more likely that she was born to a wealthy and respectable townspeople. Saint Genevieve was born in Gaul, modern France, in the village of Nanterre, near Paris, around 422. Her father's name was Cerverus, and her mother was called Gerontia. According to the custom of the time, she liked tending her father's flocks on Mount Valerian. When Genevieve was only seven years old, Saint Germanus, Bishop of Auxerre, visited Nanterre on his way to Britain. While he was there, many people flocked to receive his blessing. The young Genevieve stood amid a crowd which had gathered around the man of God. The saint noticed the little girl standing there, eagerly looking at him. The bishop kissed her on the head and told her parents that she would become great in the sight of God one day and would lead many to salvation. The young Genevieve stood amid a crowd which had gathered around the man of God who singled her out and foretold her future sanctity. When he asked her if she desired to serve God as a perpetual virgin and to be espoused only to Jesus Christ, she answered yes. He led her to a church accompanied by all the faithful and consecrated her as a virgin to God. The next day, Germanus met her again and asked if she had remembered the promise she made to God. She did and proclaimed she would always fulfill it faithfully. He presented her with a cross engraved brass medal to always wear around her neck. Further, he told her to be content with only the medal and to wear it instead of more showy ornaments such as gold and silver bracelets and necklaces. Thus, Germanus had launched the spiritual career of one of France's most admired saints. Genevieve kept the medal all her life, never giving it up, even during the toughest of times. There were no convents near her village, and like so many others who wished to practice religious virtue, Genevieve remained at home, leading an innocent, prayerful life. Following the death of her parents, Genevieve went on to live with her grandmother in Paris. When she was only 15 years old, she decided to become a nun. She was presented to the Bishop of Paris to receive the religious veil at his hand, together with two others. Though she was the youngest of the three, the bishop placed her first, saying that heaven had already sanctified her due to her consecration from Saint Germain. From this moment, she also began praying continuously and fasting, eating scarcely, 
as a sign of her complete dedication to the Lord. She liked to go to church alone at night, praying by candlelight. One night, a gust of wind blew out her candle, and she attributed this to the devil trying to frighten her. The story took on a life of its own, and later, in paintings, Genevieve would often be depicted as holding a candle while an irritated devil lurked in the background. While living with her godmother, Genevieve sometimes made trips of charity to French cities, including Mayau, Lyon, Tours, and Orleans. Legend says she performed miracles, experienced visions, and made prophecies that proved accurate. Genevieve, however, experienced the jealousy and even hatred of some neighbors who accused her of being a hypocrite and a fraud. At one point, Genevieve's enemies even plotted to drown her. Saint Germain, however, heard of the conspiracy and intervened. He helped change the hostile attitudes of those around her. During this visit, he also encouraged Genevieve to lessen the harshness of some of her own penances. A significant and often reported event, an often reported event in Genevieve's life occurred around 451. Attila and his army of Huns marched across the continent, intending to take control of Gaul. Attila was a vicious and merciless warlord who left devastation in his wake. As the army neared Paris, people living there prepared to flee the city in terror. Genevieve, however, advised them against evacuation. She told them that if they kept their faith in God, fasted, prayed, and performed penance, the city would be protected by heaven and their lives would be spared. The citizens were doubtful at first, some did leave Paris. Genevieve then supposedly gathered the women who had remained behind and led them outside the walls of the city. By some miracle, Attila turned away from Paris, leaving the city unharmed and headed south to Orleans. Genevieve was proclaimed a savior and heroine. Genevieve demonstrated her bravery and helped the people of Paris a second time, more than 30 years later. In 486, Childeric, the king of the Salian Franks, a Germanic tribe, blockaded the city. This created a serious food shortage that brought the citizens to the starvation point. Genevieve led 11 boats out onto the river, rowing past the enemy's siege lines with boatfuls of precious grain. When he heard about her deed, Childeric was impressed with Genevieve, even though he was a pagan and she was a Christian. After the siege had ended, out of admiration for the saint, he released prisoners on her request. When Genevieve died around 500, she was buried in the church of Saints Peter and Paul at Paris. Her burial site within the church would become a place of pilgrimage, as people had heard many stories of miracles and cures attributed to Genevieve. Perhaps the most famous account involved the great epidemic of ergot poisoning that afflicted France in the 12th century. After all efforts to find a cure were unsuccessful, in 1129, Bishop Stephen of Paris instructed that Genevieve's casket be carried throughout the city streets in procession to the cathedral. According to reports from the time, thousands of sick people were cured when they saw or touched the casket. Saint Genevieve also became known as the patron saint of young girls. Also, in 1962, Pope John XXIII named her the patron saint of French security forces, a gesture that honored her many efforts to secure Paris. Her feast day is January 3rd, but it is not part of the general Roman Catholic calendar. Hello, viewers. Sorry for interrupting the video. 
I just wanted to take a moment to request you to pray for us and donate if you can. If you can donate just $5, Christian Kids TV can keep making more videos like this. If you are not in a position to donate, then do pray for us. In fact, prayer support is very important to our mission. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the video. St. Genevieve, you who by the days before, penance and prayer, in short, the protection of Paris, intercede near God for us, for our country, for the devoted Christian hearts. You who cured the sick and fed the hungry, obtain the light of God and make us stronger to reject temptation. You who had the concern of the poor, protect the sick, the abandoned, and the unemployed. You who resisted the armies and encouraged the besieged, give us the direction for truth and justice. You who through centuries never ceased taking care of your people, help us to keep the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your example be for us an encouragement to always seek God and serve Him through our brothers and sisters. Amen.